Hey, Leo, welcome to your December 2021 money, career, and business tarot reading with me, Stella Wild, and Miss Ariel. We are here to give you the intuitive information you need to manifest your wildest dreams. So Leo, please check out the description of the video where you will find various interesting links, including one to your 2022 money, career, and business tarot reading on my website. It is now available for your viewing pleasure. All right, let's get into your reading. All right, Leo, let's first check in with your prosperity possibilities for the month of December. Big new moon solar eclipse in your fifth house of the entrepreneur of taking risks creativity on December 4th. So that's nice. It's in a very supportive part of your chart. All right, let's see what we have. <laughs> There's your wheel. There you are. No reversals with this deck. And the Ace of Wands. This Ace of Wands has been coming up quite a bit, which is fascinating in the readings that I have done. And I'm almost finished with all of them. And the Nine of Cups. Wow. So here's your beautiful Jupiter Wheel of Fortune energy. Here's your Sag energy with this Ace of Wands and the Nine of Cups wish fulfillment. So the universe could be bringing you an opportunity to start something brand new that could absolutely be the answer to all your hopes and wishes and dreams, Leo with the nine of cups here. So great, great start to this reading. Now the ace of wands is interesting because it really is the spark. It is about what sets your soul on fire. And as a fire sign, you know, if you're not feeling it in your heart, it's really hard to get motivated and, and make something happen, right? You really, especially your sign, right? The sign of the heart. You really need to feel that passion in whatever it is that you do for your money, career, and business life. I mean, really for your whole life, but especially because you are the sign of heart and creativity. So this is great energy. This is saying that the universe is going to bring the kind of energy you absolutely adore, which is the spark of creativity of initiation. So... Ace of Wands is also the thumbs up from the universe. If you have already initiated something, and this may go back almost a year ago, and now it's kind of coming full circle. So go back to November, December, 2020, and you may have been working on something all year, really putting all of your efforts, sincere efforts behind it. You could see some beautiful positive affirmation from the universe that your wishes and dreams are manifesting for this thing that you already started. Some of you, as I said, you may be starting something new this month. The energy supports it with that solar eclipse that I was talking about. Others of you, it's the bearing of the fruit this month from a previous year ago situation that you started. So fantastic energy here. Now, Jupiter is in your seventh house right now. He'll be in there until December 29th, and then he'll move into Pisces, your eighth house. So there is also the possibility here that Jupiter brings you the opportunity, Ace of Wands, for some sort of creative partnership. Somebody who could assist you in achieving your dreams and goals. Somebody, maybe a business partner. It doesn't have to be, though. It can just be somebody who's very helpful, especially with his Nine of Cups. I feel like somebody who really gets what you're all about and really wants to be of support and help you achieve what you want to achieve. So that's very possible also. You know, what's interesting about Jupiter, and I was saying this to, um, I think to Aquarius when I, when I filmed their reading, is that Jupiter often brings its rewards and goodies when it's at the very end of its transit in a particular sign. So that's classic, you know, there's this big old daddy Jupiter, it takes him a little time. He's, he's large and in charge. It takes him a while to kind of get up to speed, right? <laughs> so it is possible that uh, you really see a, a, 
a big positive turnaround in a situation regarding business partnerships, business connections, including, as I said, with this ace of wands, somebody new coming in who can take your money, career, and business life to the next level. Now, another possibility with this energy is that the universe brings you an opportunity to start a new job, a one that is perfectly aligned with your energy because the Ace of Wands is here and the one that you really, really wanted. So you could really be manifesting a big opportunity that you have long wanted, Leo. This is great energy. The timing, though, is very much about what the universe is doing over here, but you're going to be on top. That's why I love this deck with your Leo self here. You are going to be on top at some point in the month ahead with a beautiful, gorgeous yes from the universe that should make you very happy. All right, Leo, let's see what your wild card factor is for the month ahead while Ariel meditates. Are you meditating? Okay. All right, wild card factor. We have harmony. Oh my gosh, isn't this gorgeous? And there's your sun again on top. You had your Leo lion on top and now your wheel, I mean, excuse me, your sun on top. Number seven, Harmony, Sun in Libra. Gorgeous. Look at that. And birds are interesting. Interesting all these birds here in this card. This birds for me, it's a lot about messages and communications. And uh, so there seems like there's going to be a lot of uh, communications. And of course, Libra is your third house of communications. So lots of things percolating here for you to respond to. I think a lot of people are going to want to connect with you. That goes back also to that Jupiter in the seventh house. You could be reaching a very wide audience. You could be making a lot of sales. This, I mean, birds could even be like the orders flying in for your sales, that type of thing. Harmony, right? Just feeling at one, at peace, just so happy with the way things are going, rolling out manifesting for you. This is gorgeous, gorgeous energy. And it is because, Leo, you are shining your light over the world. You know, you are sharing your talents, your skills, your abilities. And thank you, Ariel. <laughs> She's ready to flop. There she the big flopper. There she goes. And you're bringing so much happiness also to other people because you are doing what you are meant to be doing, all right? Whatever it might be. You know, we have many different people from many different walks of life who watch this channel. Thank you for that. Whatever, we all have a role to play in this universe. We all have a way to shine our unique light and talents and you're doing it, Leo. And you're creating more harmony in the world as well because you are divinely aligned. And when we are divinely aligned and we're in that flow, and we're sharing our essence, it creates more harmony and love and joy in the world. You, you help to raise the vibration of the entire universe. All right, Leo, let's tap into your uh, ways you can use these energies. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm floored by this gorgeous energy. It's absolutely beautiful. You deserve it, of course. My goodness, love it, love it, love it. Beautiful. All right, let's see what else we can find out for you as Ariel concentrates and assists. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness, the wheel and the two of wands. The wheels twice showed up in your reading. Oh my goodness. Ah, the King of Cups. Okay, that's interesting. The Seven of Swords. And the Ten of Cups. All right, wow. This is so good. This is really, really good. Okay. So, remember, this is about using the energies. When 
we are happy when we are living our truth, when we are shining our light, it does help to illuminate the darkness. And I'm still, of course, speaking in metaphor. Your energy, you know, we just had the nine of cups. Now we're having the ten of cups over here. So your energy, your happiness quotient, everything that you are tuned into, the hope and optimism you have for your world and what you're creating, the universe is about ready to let you step through this divine door and just open up a whole new world for you as we see with these energies of prosperity, harmony, joy, all of those things, right? The ultimate happiness. And this is not just about, you know, having a partner. This really is just about feeling that everything in your world is okay. And not even just okay, but is exactly harmonious, the harmony and perfect for you. Happiness, safety, security, and joy. And joy in what you are doing in the world. Personal happiness. The ultimate, right? Because it's the 10. Now, what is this shenanigan over here? As I was saying, because you're going to be having some beautiful energy over here. And because you are so filled with light. Unfortunately, sometimes... There's people around who don't like that. They are jealous. There is possibly someone around you, probably a water sign, but this could also go back to Scorpio season. I feel like this is me also maybe recent where some jealousy may have come out, but it could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces within the last seven weeks. So within Scorpio season where I feel like, you know, a King of Cups energy can be a little sneaky. So I there could be someone around you who's trying to passively, aggressively, subtly undermine you, Leo. Now, this is nothing to get too much of your undies in a twist about because you have all this very protective energy around you. And because you have two wheels and you're on top, as we know, and you have... Like you're, this is our ending card. So you're going to be fine, but I think it's just good to realize that this energy is around you because somebody could cause a little aggravation. Again, I think you're just, it's going to roll off you because of these other things that are going on. This is a, this is a jealous nature, right? Around you. So just be aware of that. Um, like I said, and it's probably somebody close to you because this was next to the Ten of Cups. Not necessarily family, but somebody within your daily environment close to you. Like maybe even somebody you would consider a, go a good friend. Not just an acquaintance, but like a good friend. They may indeed be misrepresenting, sneakily deceptive, nice to your face, but they have the potential to be a little backstabby for sure. Passively, aggressively doing that so be aware of that 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 person actually the wheel may take them out of your life all right this is the other thing because the wheel as i said jupiter brings his bounty he make, uh, makes his big moves usually right before he gets ready to go into the next sign so you may see this month that the wheel moves this out of there jupiter takes that out because he knows you don't need that. It's not helping you. Also, you're going to have, as I said, there's likely to be somebody else coming in who is going to help you. And that person, the person who's going to help you, who's good, this other person over here may get very jealous of the new person coming in. So they may kind of remove themselves also because they don't like the fact you got a new person who's helping you in some way in your money, career, and business life. But meanwhile, they weren't helping you. They were just in there to get some inside information so that they could gossip or they could backstab or whatever, all right? So the wheel I feel here twice coming out is a very protective, benevolent energy and will remove you know, any sort of negative juju around you 
and we have this gorgeous Ten of Cups. Now, the wheel, depending on what's going on for you with this Ace of Wands, and because we have the Ten of Cups, the wheel could really be bringing you an opportunity for some sort of new home situation. So this could, this does not have to be buying or selling. It can just be something that you really needed for the home and the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Cups and the Double Wheel helps you manifest it. So it could be something like that. But with this Two of Wands, which for me is very much, it's about a doorway. He's about to get ready and step through. It is possible in about two months. So I would say Aquarius season, there could be some sort of major, because the wheel twice, major change in your home life if that's on your agenda, right? If you've been wanting to move, if this Ace of Wands represents the wish of moving house, the wheel, the timing, you're going to get some sort of yes from the universe about that. And then it may take two months for it to actually happen. So that could be like, it takes two months to close on the house. It takes two months to sign the lease. I mean, it's amazing these days. Like you have to try to get an apartment like months in advance, <laughs> like, you know, get it like reserved. It's crazy. So it can be something simple like that. The timing is right this month to get that apartment and secure it, but then you don't actually move for two more months. And that's when you cross the threshold to your new place. So that's possible too. You got gorgeous. This is fabulous energy. Keep your spirits high. Keep your optimism and faith high. Stay in that high vibe energy that I know you have, Leo. And this situation will take care of itself. It will go, all right? Because you don't need that shenanigan. This is such a good reading, Leo. This is really ending the year on a high note. This is so good. And all the energies, the nine and the 10 of cups, the double wheel, like there, there may be just some beautiful and lovely surprises in store for you this month with your money, career, and business life. So, wow. Oh, look what flipped over. I wasn't really thinking, but here, here it is. All right, so we have savings. All right, that's interesting. And especially if there's a lot of orders, if you have your own business and there's a lot of orders coming in, save some of that money. All right, Are you, as you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon life purpose. Yes. All right. And, and then, you know, some of you may indeed be wanting to save for, you know, something to do with your home life, furniture, new apartment, etc. So, and with the wheel that we had twice and Ariel crying in the background, um, there really could be a very positive change in your finances so that there is some money to start setting aside for your longer term future goals. All right. And, you know, I know it's 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 not easy out there today. It's like, I mean, we know I don't want to dwell on, you know, the economics of our current situation because that can send you down some rabbit holes that you don't want to go down. The thing is, as, as long as you start that right, it can be five, ten dollars a month. You can do the money envelope system. There's all sorts of great YouTubers who do uh, how they manage money, how they save a little money, how they how they you know, shop sales, live frugally, like do all the things so that they can set aside money. It can be done, even though I know it, you know, it can be hard these days to budget and still have money left over to try to save. But there are ways and you of all the signs who's very creative, you can figure that out. So you can set your savings aside. And the other thing too about savings, it really is about what is your vision for that? It is a form of self care. Um, it's not just about a rainy day, but it's also, you know, saving to achieve for your certain goals. And that's very empowering, as I'm sure you know. I'm probably preaching to the choir here, but don't get discouraged if you're in a place that this card come out, right? I don't want you to feel discouraged if you're like, well, it's a little tight right now. Just do the best you can, even if it's just your loose change at the end of the day and you throw it in your jar and maybe start getting used to paying cash for things. 
because when we use our debit card a lot, it can be, we remove ourselves from the physicality of money and the energy of money when it's all just uh, digits on the screen. And when you actually have to part with that cash, you know, it's a very different feeling when you're buying something than <laughs> when you're just entering, you know, your pin code. So think about that too. Think of ways to uh, maximize how you can set aside a little bit of money. It's a good, good advice and good ways to use these energies, especially because with the wheel, there could be an unexpected bounty. I mean, it's possible the wheel twice, an unexpected bounty coming in. So you're going to want to manage that appropriately. All right, Leo, I'm going to stew in all of this energy and come up with your unique channeled manifestation mantra. As the wheel turns in my favor, I say yes to divinely inspired opportunities that will take my life to the next level and bring me so much joy and happiness that I am in awe of the universe's powers. So Leo, thank you so much for watching your December 2021 Money Career and Business Tarot reading. I am stoked for you. This was so fun, so powerful. And Leave me a comment as the month goes along and let me know how this wheel is manifesting for you and stay positive, stay hopeful, stay harmonious, and most of all, be your bright and shining self. All right. Take care. Love you guys. See you again soon. Stella Wild signing out.